The following video was shot in a magistrate court, a court de facto, in order to expose what now passes for justice in the UK courts. For the sake of clarity, the following points of law need to be stated. There is no law that demands that a man or woman should have to pay council tax. There is only the 1992 Local Government Finance Act, which being an Act of Parliament can only be enforced with consent. This video is about exercising your right to stand under common law. This means not giving consent to a commercial court. All those assuming judicial authority have to swear an oath or attestation to serve the Queen and to uphold the law of the land, or common law. They have no authority to enforce commercial law, the law of the sea, unless you consent. They are obliged to honour their oath when requested and produce evidence of their oath on demand. If they refuse, they dishonour the Queen and her oath to uphold the law of the land. And of course those who have sought to uphold and preserve the law of the land and customs and traditions of the country. A Stephen Barry was summoned to the magistrate's court. I am a lay representative appointed by the agent for Mr. Stephen Barry, who's here with us today, sir. And He's with this sir. Sorry? He's a little barrister. I'm a lay advisor, sir, appointed by the legal the, the law. Mr. Barry, we claim common law jurisdiction, sir. Mr. Barry is here in the court, sir. Mr. Barry, what are you saying? Have you got the order first, again? Then the clerk stands up and abandons the court. This is Mr. Stephen Barry, a birth certificate, a piece of paper, in full view for the clerk and court to see. No, he abandoned the court. The clerk had abandoned the court, then returns with the magistrates. This still shows the moment when the members of the public showed that they did not consent to the jurisdiction of a commercial court. This was shown by not standing up when the magistrates entered the room. The layman then made it clear that common law jurisdiction was being claimed. The layman repeatedly asks the magistrates if they are on oath. They do not honour their oath because they are purely there for issuing summary judgment for profit. In this case, for themselves, the council, and of course the commercial court. The clerk again reverts to issuing orders to gain jurisdiction, but the public gallery and the layman stand their ground. Jurisdiction has again been denied. The magistrate is trying anything to get jurisdiction by assuming the layman is standing for the magistrates, which would give them jurisdiction. The clerk regains some honour by advising the magistrate the lay adviser was already standing, and standing under common law when the magistrates entered the court. Uh, sir, so you were using to say that you're alone, sir. When we're possible, I have your record. We're possible. 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 The magistrates have abandoned the court as they have not gained jurisdiction and therefore have no authority, and neither does the clerk. Yes, he can do that. 
the clerk fails to address the steward's question. Are you coming up now yet? No, all three people. All three people. All the lay advisor repeats his request for a constable to be called to the court. The court clerk then advises that the police have already been called. This is not the case, as only a member of the public gallery had at this point called the police. It is left to the stewards to do the clerk's dirty work. It appears that only now the court usher is calling the police. The lay advisor retrieves the birth certificate, Mr. Stephen Barry, the person that was summoned to appear in the court. The steward looks bewildered. However, he did the right thing by not using force. The steward makes peace with the lay advisor. A few minutes later, the police arrive. The constable listens as the lay advisor explains he has asked for the magistrate's oath and there has been no breach of the peace. The constable has been asked by the lay advisor to honour his oath, which he does. He is now upholding the law of the land and acting as a peace officer. The constable explains the situation to his men and asks them to stand down. However, the sergeant claims that the court belongs to the magistrates, which is untrue. All the officers in yellow are sympathetic to the lay advisor and honouring their duty to uphold the constitution.